This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 690, Tuesdays we've been talking nice. about professionalized wrestling. I'm sorry, 690, yes. 69, bro! Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, remember when we did have episode 69 and it was a very sexy mayhem show and we just yeah. kind of like whispered and played porn music in the background? Uh-huh. I think we did accidentally play porn on the show. That We didn't have Were, video Weren't there also like pink lighting? There was no, no, but I don't think we did. I video. thought there was pink Listen, lighting. No, episode sixty nine was probably circa t- two thousand seven. So we were I'm in... not saying anyone saw it. Oh, okay. It was a mood <laughs> lighting saying, in the studio. I think, was, I think it was just you and Lunchbox in a cramped room <laughs> with pink lighting. It was the got original weird. studio was very roomy actually. When I think about it, it was it was like a third the size of the current studio. But with just studio stuff. So, anyways, that's Mad Mike up in Beacon, New York, the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE, and I'm going to keep saying this a lot longer until his headphones are back on. My my cord got twisted. That's all right. That's what she said. Hey. Yeah. So who hey. else has been watching nothing but Disney Plus all day? Probably <laughs> this guy, Ronnie Starks. He's still <laughs> holding that Triple Crown Championship belt after Fight Society this last Friday night. Yeah. Suck it, Kato, and uh, what, what's his name? Lucio. Lu- Lucio DeVere. Lucio. 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 I don't know. I'm not, I'm disagreeing spiky, with... Spiky hair, dude. You've done <laughs> the same makeup for 20 years. Yeah, suck it. Oh, Tina, if there was a black lady in the original studio, that place would look like a... No, you don't want a black lady in any of the studios that we've had. No. No, no that's no. a bad idea. Um, nope. It, it would look like a... Uh, I'd be licking the cushions. That's Matt Light. <laughs> Comedian extraordinaire is with us. Making his first impression. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. Hey, this is my third time in studio. Third time total. in studio. Oh, yeah. Four total. That makes you an official co-host. Good, because we said that, like, I think he was supposed to join us originally in the old studio, yeah. my basement, uh, years ago, mm-hmm. and and then uh, we had you in, you in remotely. Yeah. And uh, and here you are. Back this again. is a lot more fun. It was like you're twice this year. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. We make some, well. You got you got some uh, big stuff coming up. You're opening for Mick Foley here in a couple weeks. Oh, I can't wait! It's gonna be awesome. Is it, for, is it your first time with Mick? Yeah, it's my first time. I was supposed to be my second time, but the first time never happened. That's right. That's um, right. It's it, to me, it means a lot because uh, so Hell in a Cell, mm-hmm. right? Biggest event in his career, mm-hmm. June 28th, biggest day in the world because that's my birthday. It was in Pittsburgh. And my dad promised he would take me, and he fucking didn't. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Damn, wow. It, I thought this no, no, would be no, a no, really no. happy story. Not even I done we yet. Start off. Very it gets nice. worse. So my dad's like, "Oh, sorry, kid. We can't go to the. But we're gonna watch it, pay per view." And I was like, "Sweet." So for years, I thought my dad worked at the cable company, but he sold those cheater boxes at flea markets. So we had the scramblers and this piece of shit charges my friends five bucks a piece to watch this pay-per-view comes up scrambled. I didn't see a single fucking match. Oh, no. nothing. So like the next day, I remember we were all out playing baseball and stuff. Like, it was so crazy. Mankind died and his tooth fell out. And I was like, Oh, cool. They're like, Matt, did you have fun? Did you go? And I was like, I don't want to talk to any of you guys ever again. (laughs) So for me, like 21 years later, Mm -hmm. being able to open up for him, Mm -hmm. it's a wash now. It's a wash. (laughs) It's okay. Like, it's not, it's not, um, it's not okay. It's still not okay. (sighs) But. I need to show you. Maybe I'll, I, I I have in the can. I'm still trying to work out. A, he he uh, officiated a wedding here locally for some friends. Of for uh, yeah. for Savage Benjamin. Yeah, Savage yeah. Benjamin and, uh, and Lady, Lady Frost. Frost. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know from Black Diamond or Black Diamond, Black Blackcraft. Yeah. God, I almost said Black. I said every, Blackcraft. I said everything. I said Blackcraft. I almost said like a, a metal killer. That is two different Hasht- companies. Yeah. Hashtag. 
Hashtag rest in peace, Blackcraft Wrestling. Absolutely. Matt, well, you should do your opener on uh, while you're standing on your cell phone. Mm-hmm. Because you, because anytime someone works with Mick Foley in Pittsburgh, you have to start it on top of the cell. Uh, oh, I get it. I like it. Yeah. I'm just, I only get 10 minutes. So I'm like the fucking Sunday night heat of the show. Like, I mean, it's just it's like not, people don't that's, care about that's me of, at all. It's kind of a perfect analogy. And so, honestly, yeah. I don't think the match was much longer than that. If you take out all the right stretchers and everything. Mm-hmm. So. And I, should I come out to like, cause you know, like I, I usually come out to Shawn Michaels or some sort of, but I feel like because I'm with a wrestler, I really want to come out to CM Punk's music. <laughs> <laughs> and and then be like, oh my god! And then I come out like, <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming here either. It's gonna be fun because I mean, you're probably gonna see. Uh, th- let's get back to this later in the show. Actually, okay. I still gotta do my intro. <laughs> so, WrestlingMamShow.com. Check out everything, interviews, and, and all the other great shows we do here. We just had Shane Taylor, the uh, Ring of Honor World TV Champion, on Indie Mayhem Show, uh, and uh, our friends, the Four Hossmen from Prospect Pro Wrestling, which ended in a bar fight this weekend that was a lot of fun uh going on over there also please email us at that email address good times good times at wrestling mayhem show.com for one two two zero six wmn zero tweet us at mayhem show uh hit us up on the wrestling man show facebook page and group and of course we're here live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern on facebook live we're also streaming on a lot of other platforms but the main chat is happening right now on facebook live wrestling mayhem show to join us over there uh, and if you catch us later on one of the out- other outlets and uh, have some comments or just want to tell us what we got wrong this episode, tweet at Mayhem Show at hashtag WMS 690. Waiting for Mike on that one. 69. Thank you. Re- <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash wrestling. I, 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 you can only make that joke once. So. Okay. All right. Uh, Patreon.com slash wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you to our supporters at the Fan of the Show $1 level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby FG Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammerfist at the Poppy Club. Poppy. Damn it. Poppy Club. Damn it, Mike. Um, at the Pocky Club, sure, maybe sure. Poppy should, Club. Still, we should it, just call it Poppy Club. At this just point. It, it should be at this point. You know what it is? Bukaki. You know what? I'm I'm changing Bukaki. this because Sorg, Poppy, <laughs> I, Poppy has actually been on NXT. Yeah, yeah, that qualifies. Nobody remembers the Pocky days of this show. Uh, oh, our friends right. Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter, and Kyle Turner. Pizza Club ten dollar level. Our buddy Ryan Clark at thirteen, and our manager at the twenty dollar level. Our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com. You can support the show too at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Something just flicked me off. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just walked by. That happens. We no, looked happens. for like two seconds. He was like. And I was like, "Sup, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> this is why I put a giant TV here, so, so we don't, you know. So at least I'm not distracted, I guess. Oh, so, that's awesome. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, we're talking. So, so you now you've done shows. We talked about this before. You've you've opened for Honky Tonk. You've opened yeah. for RVD. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that different opening for like? like wrestling fans that uh, like may or may not know you you gotta things? you gotta talk slower <laughs> <laughs> i mean like uh, real realistically i mean it the kind of is the truth though because like you know like I, that was like the one thing that when i was starting to do stuff with you know wrestling companies and stuff they were telling me like when you cut promos like talk slower and mm. i didn't know that but yeah but no uh it's it's a lot different because i don't think and so like half the people that if they are there and they know they know who I am, they automatically assume I'm gonna throw somebody through a table. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you're, do, you've become known for it, yeah. Yeah, or do yeah. the stunner or do some sort of move. So when I don't do it, they're like, "Is he coming back? Is he gonna mm-hmm. do something like that?" So that's kind of hard. But I think for the most part, is uh, they are they'll give you a little bit more because mm-hmm. it's like. Wrestling is such a community that like as soon as as soon as I make one reference to let them know that like, hey, like I'm a mark just like you guys, then they're like, oh, he's cool. Mm. You know what I mean? But they'll sit there kind of like, why is he open up for McFooley? Who's this dickhead? Mm. And then I'll say something like, yo, Roman Reigns sucks. And people are like, ah, I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you so know it, what I mean? Because I've seen I've seen openers for Foley where like it doesn't seem like they've got a wrestling fan. But it's like, yeah, but they're trying. Right. Like too hard. Yeah. Too. So it's kind of nice that 
I don't know how many stops he's got somebody that's actually knows what's going on. Yeah, well, typically, I mean, this is what's really cool is that uh, usually on his tours, like the last two he's done, especially last year, um, he doesn't let people open for him unless he knows them. Yeah. Uh, that was his 20th anniversary tour. And then this year, it was supposed to just be him. But the improv reached out to me and they were like, you got to do the show. Like, mm-hmm. we got to have you on. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, I, you know, I'd love to. And then they're like, well, we got to talk to Mick first. And as long as Mick approves it, then uh, Mick said immediately, like, yeah, he's cool. We can do 10. And I was like, awesome. So, yeah. So I'm excited, man. I, I, I mean, it's like I always wanted to be a wrestler. And this is as close as I'm going to get to it, you know. You're in you're in the 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 curtain jerking match for the main eventer. Yeah, pretty like. much. I'm jobbing for. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, other, I mean, you're you're kind of around a bit of wrestling news. Um, I want to talk about you. You you just started your podcast. Yeah. Third episode I saw was up on iTunes, but yeah. uh, la- uh, the week before mm-hmm. you had the guy that worked on that worked with um uh, Bray Wyatt. Yeah. On. With, on the mask for the mm-hmm. villain, as well as those segments that the yeah. first, I think, eight of them that we saw, and we knew they were happening down at the Douglas School with the, uh, you know, Tom Savini, George, yeah. you know, Romero uh, wings down there. So, so you had a good conversation with him last a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was, it was really interesting. Make sure you check it out. Um, Jason Baker is super awesome, super nice guy, and so I didn't know half the stuff. Like I didn't know that like they were filming Bray stuff in Pittsburgh. I mm-hmm. had no idea about it. Um, he told me a little bit. It was funny because like I tried to get shit out of him (laughs) and he was not like when I was trying to explain like, Oh, I know where, you know, Husky Harris is Huskers. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's just a friendly little pig boy that eats chocolate. I'm like, (laughs) all right, asshole. Like, I was like, tell me what's going to happen now. And like, I remember like when we were talking about, um, the, uh, the Saudi Arabia thing is like before we went on air on air, he's like, man, I hope he fucking wins. And I was mm. like, there's no way he's you were doing win. that the day before the show. No, right? we did it two. We recorded two hours before his match. Right. So like, we were like, literally like we did it and then we left. Cause I wanted to go watch the match. Yeah. And yeah. then he went to go do whatever. Cause it was on Halloween. Yeah. But I didn't think he was going to win. Yeah. I didn't understand what they were going to do. You know what I mean? Cause it was like, what are they, they can't DQ him again. But I just was like, and you can't bury him, so it was just a, it was a weird, weird uh, situation. But uh, yeah, it's a great conversation with him. He does the mask for Slipknot, the one that everyone shit on that said it looked like a, uh, a milk jug, a milk jug, which was so <laughs> funny, dude. Because like Jason like laughs at it and stuff, yeah, and yeah. like he's super cool and so talented, man. It was cool. Like it's weird. I got more nervous around him mm-hmm. than I do with wrestlers. Because mm-hmm. to me, like what he's doing, like changes the whole gimmick you know what i mean if nobody likes that mask yeah bray's a pussy you know what i mean like yeah. that mask was perfect so. yeah it's definitely something that makes the character and then um then we, the lantern then we yeah the lantern oh the part about the real hair the real hair so i did you know the story and you guys might know this listening that bray had the fiend character for four years because well, there was something where out in the woods there was a yeah there was a story out in the woods that they had on the YouTube somebody serviced and he basically described the character who he is as now. like a ghost story yeah with yeah. with the yellow eyes with the hair so yeah when he was done with that ghost story he knew that when he was gonna reinvent himself he was gonna cut that hair mm-hmm. and use it for him killing Bray mm-hmm. and uh, which was mind blowing that because. That guy, as far as promos are concerned, I mean, he's really it now. Like, it's it's him, and then everyone else is so, so far behind him. And it's just nice to see them giving him, yeah. you know, the creativity. Yeah. To, I think they pushed him way too quick. And I think we still all kind of question mark that that red light. Yeah. Right? It's like, it's not in person in Cleveland. Like, it's not it's not fun. Yeah. Right? It, 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 if, I feel like it distracts from the match. It's yeah. hard to watch on television. Red it, is like it, it didn't work with Sin Cara when that light actually was brighter. Oh, was, the blue! It was, to... it was like a bright blue light, wasn't it? Um, I think it was gold at one point. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's like what, what, I don't understand the the production thinking. Well, I just don't get like it because the first the first match on his return, he didn't have it. No, SummerSlam, he just beat the shit out of Finn, and that was it. What What I think it is is um. 
they don't like the way the mask looks for long periods of time under the house lights. Like it's it's too well. It's better than worms. <laughs> I mean, it's better than worms, worms on the mat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those, those worms were the worst. I mean, they're, they're, they killed him so bad that I give time. him I give him like credit for wanting to try something different with him, and I, who knows if that came from production or from like his idea from that. But I mean, it's a mix. Between, I don't I don't think that was his idea. Wait, 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 wait. What you got over there in the corner? What, what's sneaking in there? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> is that the boss? The, bo- the boss man. You're damn right, it's the boss. Sasha Banks. <laughs> That's great. I definitely took a picture of that. <laughs> He's taking oh, pictures oh, of the video. Oh, I'm doing the Sasha Banks Sasha Bank stance. I did. What? Wait, wait. Have a dream, I have a man. Oh, that actually looks like. <laughs> wow, it. you've been doing that a lot, haven't you? No, well, actually, I just that was my first time. That was that was a, that was a good hand mo- movement there. That, that's a Thank puppeteer. You. You're quality, really good with your hand. <laughs> that's what I've been told. I've had a lot of specifically practice. your left one. I, yeah. I don't know. What's... I I am a southpaw. <laughs> oh, okay. Southpaw regional it's... wrestling. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, you know, it's going to be a mix between his ideas and then writing team, right? Yeah. I mean, I just I don't understand why he's champion. Yeah. I yeah. don't understand it. Well. They had to do something. Yeah, have him kill everyone. Like, just beat the shit out of everyone. Like, his character is larger than life. Yeah. When The Undertaker was the baddest dude ever, he didn't have the title. When he had the title, it was like, oh, cool. He's going to cut a promo. Mm -hmm. That's not what The Undertaker does. You have to remember, when The Undertaker didn't have the title, they did something very crucial for him. They wrote stories. Yeah. Yeah. We, the, this we, dude we, just we don't came. Do that anymore. This dude literally just showed up. His first match was in August. Mm-hmm. Like unless JoJo and three is months pregnant, later uh, is pregnant with Bobby Lashley's baby, there's <laughs> not going to be a story for Bray. But he, but like, does he <laughs> need one? Like to me, like the reason why Bray was so cool is because it was so limited. Mm-hmm. You didn't know when he was coming out unless you were at the show and you saw ten people all of a sudden start working on the ring and the guy in the middle had his head down. Um, but other than that, like you, it was a surprise mm-hmm. and it just made it like, now what you're going to have a baby face chase him, what they should have done. And I've said this from the fucking get go and it sounds stupid, but I, but why not do it? You've, you've done everything else. The Royal rumble should have happened. There should have been like eight or nine guys in the ring. He comes out at 30 pitch black. Everyone's out of the fucking ring and he's in it. Mm hmm. That's it. He doesn't have to wrestle. He wins. He's going to WrestleMania and he wins the title there. Yeah. Why couldn't you have waited three more months for it? Because now what? Because guess what? By WrestleMania this time, we're over him. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I, I, I see what you're, I see what you're getting at with it. But if you have Bray squash all the mid card and upper mid card faces, once he becomes champion, there's no one left for him to feud with. I don't know, man. We got a pretty big, deep roster right now. No, but I mean, but right? think about it. Like, like who on Raw? He would, killed would Finn Balor right? in three minutes. Just manhandled him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's because that's. And I think the only reason it was like that was because Finn was taking time off anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I really think that had a lot like, to do with it. Like, I would have rather, you know, okay, Finn got killed. I'm like, oh, cool. He's going to come back at Hell in a Cell as the demon. We'll yeah. do a thing there. But then we just moved on to Seth. Like, of right off the bat. Yeah. Out of nowhere. I, I think he should have just going... killed each champion. He should have went his way up. Mm-hmm. He should have went on each show. He should have he should have beat up the Intercontinental. He should have beat up what's the U.S. title. He should he should just just start and say, I don't give a fuck about the belt. It's not about the belt. Mm-hmm. It's about revenge. It's about you know taking whatever whatever he's taking, whatever this character. But that's is. the same Bray Wyatt story they did for years and years, and it didn't work. It's not that never- it didn't work. They never gave a payoff because mm-hmm. when it did work, he fights Orton, and in, in Orlando. And the whole crowd is like, why the fuck did Randy Orton just win? Mm -hmm. Like this whole build up. Mm -hmm. And then for what? Nothing. 
Yeah, but that that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't just have him run roughshod through everyone. Why not? Brock did. Yeah, but Brock is different. Why is he different? And, and Brock did not run roughshod through anyone. Trust me. I'd you don't love- remember when he single-handedly ended John Cena's career? Brock has had he- matches with about seven people since 2012. Right. That's he- it. Right. No, but like. Like legitimately, you can name on two hands the amount of people. Brock so Lesnar why not wrestled. do the same but with Bray? Because then you you can't have you can't run the same gimmick twice at the same time. He's gone. Who Brock? Brock's not on the same show. Yeah, no, but, but he's still on every pay. You like, can't. You he's in the like, pay per view. I don't even scene. like having them both champion now. Well, yeah. I don't. I just. Two. I just. I'm so over the MMA collaboration. Oh, you didn't it's, like how there was like like three legitimate sports stars sponsored on, on your, sponsored by fucking, I hate when they say sponsored by Nyquil. What sponsored by Nyquil? Is he really? I don't know. It puts me to sleep. Oh, <laughs> every I mean the Tyson Fury. Then then what, what's the dude's name? Uh, Cain Velasquez. Velasquez. Cool dude. Like you're gonna throw punches and put a guy in a fucking headlock. Awesome. And, and Nobody it, cares. It's it's not for us. It's for bringing UFC people over. Right? I get that, but aren't they the same persons that yeah. that will go to a bar and be like, "Wrestling's fake." Wrestling. Did you fake. notice? Does anybody notice that NXT is calling itself combat sports? No, I uh, they've, they've been doing that for years. So have they? Yeah. I, maybe it's just because I'm noticing because it's all over USA uh, or uh, you know SmackDown Raw ads now, right? Yeah. It, it, it it seemed like an interesting like when did we go from like sports entertainment to like the finest in combat sports or the yeah, entertainment show or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but you won't see Raw and SmackDown calling themselves. No, they don't because, because NXT focuses more on in ring. It's interesting that counter programming, right? So mm-hmm. I just punch and kick, bro. <laughs> okay, Zach Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you notice uh, they were saying who needs to be on NWA Power, and I, I tagged Zach Hunter in that one. Did you? Yeah, because right. I mean, he, he said he was perfect for it with his punches and his kicks. So <laughs> we'll talk about maybe a little bit of that. You've been watching Power by chance? No, you I haven't. I haven't been watching anything. It, it was, it's, it's, it's kind of like you look at the stack of stuff. You're like, I don't even know where to go. Really? That, right? Good. Yeah. It, well, it's good, uh, it's honestly, good yeah. With Disney Plus dropping. I may just stop watching. Yeah. Wrestling yeah. I'm together. just like, I don't even know when's next wrestling I'm going to watch because I got, <laughs> I got to watch me some Little Mermaid and. So HBO. yeah, well, that's the question: <laughs> is what was your first thing you watched on Disney Plus? Uh, the Iron Man, The Mandalorian. The intro to Darkwing Duck, because that's all I could get to work. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The first. <laughs> oh, of- I. Sorry, go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. I said not till the second segment. So let me get through an ad and then uh, we can do this. Hey, guys, there's a lot of wrestling. <laughs> Don't you want more? Or if you're. <laughs> or if you want to go support the next guys coming up, because they can make it better from the top, from the bottom up. Our friends at Indie Wrestling.us, Indie Wrestling.network, a lot of friends to the show here. You can see Ronnie Starks on there. Uh, hey, for okay. instance, uh, when we have a lot of fun stuff that just posted over there, we just re- we just recorded last week refs with rigatoni, three referees, including two time uh, uh, Hall of Famer uh, 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 Sean Patrick was a part of that. It was a lot of fun. I know somebody t- messaged me and said uh, we have to order the the Sorg Network now, and they've been watching the old waffles with women. Uh, we also have just posted on there our friends at Prospect Pro Wrestling just had a big chase for the gold show uh, this past weekend that ended in a in a, a locker room emptying fight and a bar fight. It was it was one of the craziest things I've been I've been around in professional wrestling. Rise Wrestling with a Y coming up this week. A lot of great stuff going on there. Please go check it out. IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. Go check out stuff. There's a free seven-day trial for new subscribers at the network, uh, and you can dive into all that stuff from Prime Wrestling in Ohio back in the day, uh, the Lucha Fiesta that was across the street here, uh, had Ultima Dragon that Monty still, his mind is blown at it. Uh, <laughs> that he missed it uh, a lot of great stuff over there uh, from from a lot of our friends across the wrestling industry go check out indie wrestling.network indie wrestling.us all right now you guys are allowed to talk about hey, Disney hey, Sword, Plus. so is the third is the third um part in that series going to be pierogies with Perot wrestlers man that's a str- with Puro wrestlers yeah you're talking like lucha wrestlers yeah <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I yes. have a lucha wrestler. Well, yes, we'll get uh, uh, Super Coco Hot Coco. Yeah, and and uh, and uh, Yinza the the Pittsburgh Luchador. 
Oh and um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yinza, the Pittsburgh Luchador. Oh, he's real, man. Oh, yeah, I've not heard. I've not heard remember, we him. had. Him. I love him. We had his best friend on the Coach show him. talking about him. Who's uh, his best friend? A while ago, his, uh, his best friend Dave Fedor. Oh yeah, I, I like Dave I might, too. Was I like I those guys. Show? What's that, Mike? I might not have been on that. You might not have been on that one. Well, we'll have to bring him back to have a conversation with you then. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. Uh, So so we'll work that out. (laughs) Let's see what we can do with that. I was just talking to Dave, actually, today. It's good stuff. Does does Yinza use a Steely Kinrana? No. I have a Yinza mask. Really? Yeah. Uh, Fun fact, (laughs) it's not custom made. I went to Cancun uh, and our hotel zone, like the little area, Sold me one for fifteen dollars. So it's like a Steelers lucha mask. It's le- it's his mask. It's legit the exact <laughs> same mask. It's legit the exact because I posted it it's and awesome. his friend Dave responded. Goes he did the uh, Spider Man uh, meme where they're pointing at each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if if Flinza if Yenza looks like he's a uh, five foot five and diabetic, man, I <laughs> I might have tagged in for him. There you go. So. Yeah, we would be a sick tag team, right? A Yin's a tag team. That'd be great. Right? Oh, oh you can so be good. called Yin's guys. Oh, I like oh. it. Oh. I like it. I dig it. I and dig your it. finisher can be the incline. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I mean, you know the best thing is? Oh, I'm not even from Pittsburgh, and I'm making all these spot fucking on references. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love the guy from New York. He's like the most Pittsburgh decked out over there. I wonder uh, if we can throw in the pothole or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This, we, got a, we need a new move called the sinkhole now. Yes, I the like sinkhole. It. <laughs> Wasn't that Rikishi's move? <laughs> the sinkhole, the the sinkhole, sinkhole slam. <laughs> the sinkhole slam. That's it. Dude, you know what the weird... <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a weird aside. So I've been digging into the analytics on our YouTube page. And like like the majority like when you look at playlists like the biggest thing that people are are are, are watching are from a playlist called Stink Face, really. But when I look at it, it's not like Rikishi matches. It's like lady matches. Oh boy, that Sorg. It's disturbing. Sorg, how do we get off? Of it list? gets really weird. There's how do we get off? Rest, of a do list? you know there's pro wrestling porn? Yo, yeah. Oh yeah, I had, oh, no a, aware of that. Was, I had no idea. Aware of that, there was I. So I had no yes. idea, and I was watching a regular, I, what I thought a regular with fans in the audience. Yeah, yeah. And it was just an Asian like match, and all of a sudden, just pants off, and just <laughs> blah, 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 and I was like, "What is going the, on?" The man. weirdest, the weirdest wrestling thing I've ever seen in my life. I encountered this years ago. It's on YouTube. Hold on, you can find it. <laughs> Hold on. No, no. Hold, um, hold my beer. So, We're gonna look for it. I, and we brought this up on the show. I think we even I think we even showed it on the show. Oh. Is this around the time where we we're reading fanfics? Kinda. It's it's when I was covering impact by writing about it. Oh yeah. So that'll give you a time frame. It's Lacey Von Eric POV wrestling. Oh yeah. It's like some fucking mark strapped a GoPro to his forehead. And just had a match with Lacey Von Eric. Yeah, when she's wearing a very low cut top. So this is this is like a, you're going into like the wrestling customs kind of area. Yeah, right. And yeah, that is that is a whole market. Was, by the way, POV porn is bad. I'm just gonna go. Out just gonna take um, hot takes. Hot, hot takes. Just hot hot takes. takes. Show it's just six ninety. It's just it's just <laughs> it's just really listen. I just it's just really bad. Hot takes. I'm sorry. I don't have a follow up for that. <laughs> no, there's not because let's you, talk about Disney Plus. <laughs> so Walt Disney's in it. <laughs> <some, laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, hot takes. Well, well, I'm definitely on uh, YouTube, and I can't find. Oh boy, Lacey Von Eric uh, POV. Ap- apartment wrestling is also interesting. <laughs> if you look that up. Oh boy, Disney Plus. Anyway, Disney Plus. <laughs> this that does that this, doesn't allow porn. This does. This has little little to do with wrestling, except I found at least one uh, movie. Uh, no, two movies with The Rock on it. Yep. So Cinderella, the Princess one, Princess well, Tire. What is it? Uh, no, the he, football the game plan. Game plan. Game plan yeah, that's and it. Escape from Witch Mountain. Uh, I never heard of it. Yeah, there's a meme of him like looking over like to the, the back seat. Okay. Uh, that's from that. 
That's, yeah. That's the highlight, I think. Good meme. <laughs> good, meme. good meme. Good meme. Good meme. Good is meme. It, is it better than the chaperone? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody got a track on that? Chaperone's uh, a great movie. I probably had a better budget. I, I uh, yeah. did I mean, not see the chaperone. No. I, I saw the cover, and I said, no, thank you. I just love me some Triple H. Like no beard, Triple H, long hair. Oh, you, you have you seen Blade Trinity? No, is that good? Wait, you yeah. should Whoa. watch Triple Whoa. H in it. Triple H is in it. Triple what? H and is Ryan it. Reynolds. Well, I know that. Oh God, Triple H has a I saw, full on fight with. So Deadpool. I just I I have, I have a man crush on Ryan Reynolds, and I remember who doesn't, uh, dude? Who, does, who doesn't? His training yeah. for that with his twelve pack abs. Mm-hmm. Woo! Yeah, no, Triple H and Ryan Reynolds have a full-on shirtless fight. It's great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. Look for and, the, and it, I would Triple POV like watch job. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, POV so, Blade Trinity. So I guess Disney Plus is appropriate because this is the thing that we're going to watch instead of bad wrestling because there's too much oh, bad God, wrestling. Oh, God, yes. Too, I mean, there's, so or, and the good wrestling, too, because there's too much wrestling. We need a break, and we're going to sit in, like, like Tina and watch Gummy Bears. I didn't even think about Gummy Bears. I'm so pulling up Gummy Bears. I can't I, watch. I also, I also have never watched Gargoyles. No. Oh, my God, dude. I know. I know. I'm uh, planning to start. I, I started it, like, years ago on Netflix and never got through it before I went off. I, um, uh, I watched an episode tonight, and it was incredible. Yes. Chip and Dale does not hold up. Hey, oh, come on. Those, you, those guys give it their all every nose. single night. I know. I know. They are fantastic. What was that Mike? You shut your fucking. It was. Mouth. I tried to. Watch, it was like the first episode. I'm just like, I don't know. Sorg, it takes a little bit to get in their groove. It, yes, it does. I should have started some like some seasons. Some crimes go slipping through the cracks. Wow. But those two gumshoes are picking up the slack. Sorg. Wow. Wow. You also came home and watched that every day. Yes. Oh, I was talking There's about no the male strippers. Oh, okay. There's no case too nails. small when you need help. Just. Ah, oh, I forget who you call. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. And that look, gets... I, look, Dark Ronnie, Ronnie, I didn't really forget. It was, I know, but I had It was a forward. bit. Hey, can I, I was, say something? Ronnie, Ronnie, I was doing a bit. I'm sorry. I fucked your bit <laughs> up. Yes, Matt? I have another hot take. <laughs> okay. Disney Plus, ready? The Simpsons suck. Now or then? Sorg, Sorg, Always. kick him, the, across kick the, him the fuck out, Sorg. Always. I, Sorg, kick, Sorg, kick him I the think fuck it's, out. I think it is the most overrated show ever. Sorg, Ooh. Sorg, Sorg. I hope you bomb in your thing. Sorg, <laughs> can, Sorg can we Ronnie's revoke... going to buy a ticket just to boo you. It's, not, <laughs> going to, don't it's just not. It's There's nothing. It's whatever. It's Sorg, boring. Can we revoke co-host status? Boring. <laughs> can, we re- can we revoke co-host it's, co-host status. It's just been revoked. Is it that good? You what is so good about The Simpsons? It's, it's a classic, man. You the, can't the, so what? Save the dates for my wedding are me and my fiance as Simpsons characters. Oh, I remember those days when you create your own Simpsons. That's character. how much I loved The Simpsons. Yeah, they suck. No, no. Well, the video knew. game, the video game was oh. great. Wait, wait, you oh, talking about like the arcade man. game? Yes. Oh, but it was dear. better. Oh, it was a different God. time. It was better when they called it the Ninja Turtles, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm with you on that. I can't deny that oh, one. Um, fight. Oh, same game. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not going to refute that they have not been as great. I mean, they changed the genre 30 years ago. Yeah. Well, so it's kind of like, I mean, Family Guy isn't that great now. No, but fun. South Park is still Family amazing. Wasn't really? really? South Park is fun downhill. I don't like the I, I don't like the Tegrity Farms. I'm over that. But no, South Park is so good. And I think the the way I think when you watch how they create it, mm-hmm. it makes you appreciate it ten times more. <laughs> yes. It is just they literally yeah. have six days yeah. to South just Park come is, up with something. South Park sometimes gets a little too preachy though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they always make the, the, what I like is they always turn the positive into the negative. They always make Isn't the there, bad guy the good guy. Isn't it interesting because you have South I don't Park. know. I think you should ask Scott Turnerman about that. <laughs> you yeah. Have, you have South Park that comes up with a story in six days yeah. and animates it. You have wrestling that comes up. Let's say you know, you're know you making stories for Raw. You're on the Raw writing team. Right. You're coming up with a story every six, seven Sorry, years. Sorry, be realistic. Let's say you're making up stories for NXT. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I was kind it of I was kind of going on this line of things that have been around twenty to thirty years in programming that maybe aren't as good as when they were uh, in their heyday, like Monday Night Raw. That's okay. That's fair. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Raw Raw's been around one thousand three hundred eighty-one episodes. You will always know that number, won't you? Yep. Mm. <laughs> like so, it's, uh, it's like it's his th- job. Mm-hmm. Something like that, Ronnie. So, so I'm just assuming that no one watched Rick and Morty on Sunday. I did. Uh, that's my boy. <laughs> what I happened? did. What happened? Rick and Morty. Yeah, it was uh, good. It was a good yeah, first. It was, back. it was okay. It was okay. I it's only gonna get better. That's another cult yeah. thing I think is overrated. How fucking dare you, sir? Get the fuck out of the studio. I think. <laughs> I think. I love that nobody's here, so they can tell you to get the fuck right. out of the studio. I think. Here's I'll the be thing. there in twenty minutes. Sorry, that, that is Mike. show. That is Mike. Though. Is very like. Well, you gotta be smart to like it. It's like, oh. okay, relax. Oh, it's a cartoon. Or maybe not smart enough to like Rick and Morty. <laughs> like your comedy. See what I mean? Like See what I mean? <laughs> there them go. There they go. Oh so wait, is that your problem with The Simpsons too? No, it that's just boring as shit. It's just boring. It. I mean, like when I was a kid, I liked it because I'd watch it with my dad. Mm-hmm. But like as I got older, I'm like, that's an age well. No, no, it doesn't. I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I'm afraid to look back at stuff on Disney Plus from like that I grew up on. Uh, there, are, there's a lot. Sorg, if you liked a lot of The Simpsons growing up, a lot of it holds up really well. Probably, you uh, know, what? Up, to, up to season eight at least. Yeah. Do you know what cartoon still holds up very well? Hmm. Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, I no, I, no? I don't agree with that at all. It's amazing. I saw, I saw the movie they did on Netflix. Oh. Mm. Well, no, well, that's that's different. Fucking terrible. Yeah. The episodes were good. Fun fact: Do you know who does Rocco's voice? Hmm. Officer Garcia from Reno Nine One One. No way. Yep. I, I still like Rocco's Modern Life. Still bothers me that there was an episode where Rocco was a phone sex operator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh, baby. <laughs> Rocco, dude, they ate, they <laughs> ate, at, they ate at a restaurant called Chokey Chicken. Yeah, like it was like that was what's so great is like like that Ren and Stimpy, SpongeBob, they all have sick, fucked up adult like, like humor in it, and you don't realize it until you don't you... think The Simpsons doesn't. Yeah, but The Simpsons was kind of not for children. Yeah. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It was. Fun fact. Uh, my parents wouldn't let me watch Red and Stimpy was when, I, when I was a child. Because when the Don't Was on the Electric Fence episode happened, my mom watched <laughs> it. And she's like, you're never watching this again. So we're like, okay. Don't Whiz on my- the Electric Fence. Wow, the only thing I was told I was not do- allowed to experience was the Double Dragon video game. What? <laughs> Why? So you didn't want you beating up your brother over a girl. No, my my. Oh, I didn't even know that was a story. I all I wanted was the tiger handheld version of it. And my mother was like, I, I heard that kids fought each other in in the playground because of Double Dragon, oh, really? like back in the NES days. And you're not allowed to play it. I'm just like, really? Do you see the video games I have? This is like pre Mortal Kombat and stuff, right? Yeah. And meanwhile, I'm playing like bad dudes, which is basically the same thing every time I went to my weekly bowling league. Dude, Mortal Kombat scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I, I thought because the, the graphics were so good, though, because mm-hmm. they were literally photos of people pretty much. You know what I mean? And the blood and the finish and the whole <laughs> dude, that I don't know. That shit scared the shit out of me. When so I you had kid. a Sega. I had, I had them all, bro. Well, no, because if you had the Super Nintendo version, you had no blood. Oh, no, I'd say, yeah, yeah, for that, yeah. Oh, you knocked the sweat out. But I played, the the game I played, was it Killer Instinct? Was that on Super Nintendo? That was 64. 64. I think. Wait, no. No, it was Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, Yeah. that that was a good game, too. Spinal. (laughs) You know what else was a good game? Earthworm Jim. Oh, Girthworm Jim. That was so much fun. It's a Girthworm. (laughs) Are you guys playing the same game? What? POV. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, this is POV, POV game. Is that this On one? that note. Oh, my God. I, uh, By the way, the new Sonic looks great. Toe Jam and <laughs> Earl. Toe Jam and Earl. Are we talking about the Battletoads? Uh, no. Dina, I, I got the Hulu Disney Plus combo. Jeez. 
Uh, bringing it back around, we'll, we'll get back. We'll get to a big question, but first, I want to give a shout out to our friend Slice on Broadway, sliceonbroadway.com, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, feeding our guests here in the studio. Did you get any when he came in? We got we got some over there left over. No, I didn't. I was going to. Uh, you should because I haven't had a chance to eat like five pieces. So there you, there you go, Ronnie. You're not competing with Ronnie on the on it or anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> they gave it uh we we've been getting an extra lately and they're like hey this one's an odd shape we're giving it for you like a buck i'm like okay and it's like shaped like a football i'm like i thought you guys did that on purpose you know i mean these are the guys that made like a hello kitty doe doll for our dudders at one time That's uh awesome. you know uh go check them out if you're in the city uh go check them out in their four locations beachview carnegie east end and pnc park uh of course we do have our unofficial campaign because we know there's people listening from seattle and california and kansas city right now as we speak uh and everywhere else in between uh, if you got a broadway in your town take a picture of it tweet at pj underscore slice on the twitter and tell them you want to slice on your broadway to help their global expansion <laughs> Help them with that scouting report. Can they, so you said they're at PNC Park. Yes. Can you like go to a pirate game and eat it there? Yes. Or, mm-hmm. Really? Yep. Are they uh, are they left field? Are they? Uh, where are they're they? Right, yeah, they're, they're right by the bridge. Yeah, right by the bridge. Oh, like, okay. Right yeah, when yeah, you can yeah, walk yeah. out the bridge, they're like was the it, first or second. That theater. used to be a different pizza shop, right? Yeah, there? yeah. Some yeah. pizza of no some name. Piece of shit pizza. Pizza. Yeah, some piece of shit right pizza. Yeah, some piece of shit pizza. Some good slice on Broadway. Yeah, awesome. And you can Uber eat that shit downtown. You know what? I wasn't even going to go to a pirate game all season next year. I'm going to get season tickets now. <laughs> Just for that. Whoa. I'm going to do it. You don't need to. No, don't. don't I mean, I, I admire well, your to be fair, commitment. It's pirate hey, season hey, tickets. It, hey, that's how you guys get sponsors, guys. You guys I was going to say, pirate season tickets cost you less than a whole pie from Slice on Broadway. I, I, for one, think they should have turned that place into a uh, Spirit Halloween store. But you, know. <laughs> you wait, wait. You mean the park, right? I mean, yeah, uh, the park. Yeah, yeah that's Slice on Broadway. I like no. Slice on Broadway. <laughs> it would be great if there was a Slice on Broadway in a Spirit Halloween store. You don't, oh, you don't do that. Slices, uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Can put that out. That's you, that's for free for you, Rico. Uh, anyways, we'll be back after Dutters talks to you about some other stuff we do around here, and we'll be back with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. It is a Wrestling Mayhem show. Matt Light's still with us in the studio. Yep. Even though everybody else wants me to kick him out for his opinions on The Simpsons. I'm not leaving. Get <laughs> yeah, the like, hell out. I don't know why he's like chained to the couch. I don't even know how he did that. Off camera there. Because, he's not leaving. Because Homer did in Simpsons episode. That's why it's sword. <laughs> Mad Mike is still with us. Mad as ever, Ronnie Starks. Boo you off the stage, Matt Light. Boo. (laughs) Booing you off the stage. You won't do it. Buy a ticket. Oh, buy a ticket. Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) Man, that strategy's working. I told you we'd get the show over. (laughs) Anyways, we got a big question, and since I can't get these guys to talk about anything except Disney Plus, we're gonna bring it together. We're gonna by the way, Sorg. Show title, Disney Plus Wrestling. <laughs> there you go. Um, that's the next one. When will Disney just buy WWE, right? Oh, there's an idea. Oh, but the question God, I, I am... Would feel, I would feel so much better about that. <laughs> I would feel so much better about that. You know, if anybody's a steward to the thing that you grew up with, I would feel why so not? Better. Why Are you ready for Disney Plus WWE? God, and... I would love it. Yeah. I would love it. Instead of female superstars, they'd be WWE princesses. Oh, man. <laughs> Charlotte would be a Disney princess. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just, like princess Leia. Just like Princess yeah. Leia. Just like Princess Leia and uh, Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Is that track? I don't know. No, Captain Marvel, not. No. But... Deadpool's also a Disney princess, though. That's true. That is, that is factual. Mm-hmm. Um, what, where was I doing? Oh, hey, the question I had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going with this. Because we were talking, we kept talking about the chaperone, so that that put the bug in my ear for WWE films because that's been such a successful venture. Um, the Marine Twelve, the Marine, <laughs> Marine sixty nine, nice, getting there, getting there. Uh, what Disney remake would you like to see cast with a member of the WWE roster? I'm taking it first. Rise, uh, Hatching Finn. What? You ever Hatching Pete? The original Disney movie? No. Yeah. Look it up tonight. No, no, no. Tell us about it. No, that's, no, yeah, yeah. That's the whole gimmick of this. You have to uh, tell us. All right. So uh, 
it's uh it's a guy who wears a mascot costume and it is a uh, a chicken i think oh this is like oh wow it is a chicken i just pulled yeah. it up thanks to the magic of disney plus yeah <laughs> so it'll be finn balor in a chicken costume trying to rehatch his wrestling well, i might be able to pull this up here there it is there there it is for you guys on video that's yeah it's an hour and a half movie that they did in 2009 i presume probably straight to disney channel am i right it was it's a very good movie too okay hmm. <laughs> okay okay and that's with finn balor and 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 he's going to be in a chicken costume yeah he's going to rehatch his wrestling career rehatch his wrestling career is, isn't that basically what his time in nxt is uh i don't know we'll see okay all right all right all right hmm. uh matt you said you had one nope nope <laughs> wait was that yours <laughs> No, I, I had one, but then I was dumb and it was wrong. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pass, and I'm I'm looking right now. Okay, Mad Mike, what about you? <sighs> okay, so the only thing that's popping in my brain, I and I don't know how this works. Um, I want to do a live action Toy Story. Okay, the WWE superstars that will be in it mm-hmm. are Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Not as Woody and Buzz. <laughs> Not as them. They're the kid, right? As Sid and Andy. Oh. <laughs> so is John Cena going to be Buzz Lightyear? And uh... Oh, yeah. We can literally have the entire roster voice every toy. Yeah. We can have the entire roster voice every toy. I feel like John Cena doing his Lance Catamaran would be the perfect Buzz Lightyear. Oh, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. Um, this may not and, be. Um, Go ahead. Uh, no, I, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, uh, Rob, um, I, Rob, Rob, Rob's helping you out. Uh, Max Moon can be Buzz. Um, no, no, not at all. No, Ma- Max Moon is getting nowhere near this project. <laughs> um, he's, he's cut off. <laughs> but, Go away, um, Conan. I I want Paul Heyman to be Potato Head. Yes. Mm-hmm. I can yeah. see that. I, I, I don't have any of the other castings, but I want Ryder and Hawkins to be Sid and Andy. Elias and, and, Hawk, and, and Ryder would be the heel, obviously. <laughs> I'd watch it. Yeah. All right. I, I got a little distracted because I realized Boy Meets World is also on Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I just, I just discovered it. Yeah. That's, that's... And speaking of wrestling, wrestling, Boy Meets World. There's a lot of wrestling on Boy Meets There's World. There's a lot of wrestling. Vader is in canon a character's father on that show. That's yeah. right. Because if if it's Disney, Vader is somebody's father. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, mine not quite as exciting, but I want to do Monsters Inc. But with the B team. <laughs> <laughs> well, do wow. they ha- do they have to be current superstars? Ah, uh, no, you can well, play with it. They have to be alive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think so, I got mine. Oh, oh my god! Oh, right. Rob just Rob just dropped a really good one in the What's chat. That? Mm. Cars, but with all the vehicles from the game WWE Crush Hour. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I want to do entirely, entirely. Yes. I want to do Pinocchio. Okay. Okay. And Shawn Michaels is Pinocchio. Ooh, and the okay. stories about the Montreal screw job. I like that. <laughs> no, yeah. no, wait. No, wait. Do his eyes get more wonky the more lies? The more he tell? lies, his eyes get crossed. Uh, even more. I was gonna say the more his lies, the bigger uh, Triple H's nose gets. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I feel like they did that bit somewhere. <laughs> probably. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh, I wait, I will I... I will say if my favorite thing about that time. In wrestling is just reading the signs. They are so offensive. Oh yeah, it is so funny. The things that even what DX would say to the Heart Foundation and Nation of Domination, it was terrible. I mean, Xbox like, did blackface at one point. Dude, so they all they, they all is. were in blackface. They said yeah. no, but they've done. They did even worse. Like. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about, but we talk about like you look back Tuesday Tuesday Night Titans and the stuff they did in the 80s, even. Like, oh yeah, just the general 
just uh, uh well vince would say he's like hey racism you know exists in real life yeah so we want to make it realistic they had um i shouldn't say it i'm not gonna say it i'll don't be- say it no, no, no. You have to. i'm not gonna say don't it, say it. Nope, no i'm not gonna say it don't say you it. just if you want to watch watch dx when they feud with nation of domination yeah with with Shawn michaels though they are terrible mm-hmm. like legit would be thrown off of tv immediately and it's a time where uh, the powers that be thought it was fine a good idea. right well, pushing just, the envelope but fine right you know It'll be fine you know but but you know in the wrong but the you know in their eyes you know right so and it just doesn't hold up and it is it is interesting because i think are there disclaimers on some of those shows on the network now that that do yeah, there are. kind of go, go, are go there? that way? Well, they they have like um like pretty much all the attitude era stuff is rated TV fourteen, right? Well, that's for some of it. And you can a. and you can do parental controls. On. Yeah. They, I mean, they won't censor the signs though. Shawn no, Michaels no. got it the worst. Mm-hmm. I mean, be- oh, because. Yeah. Because he was a flamboyant well, wrestler. The, the pro, yeah, he'd the pro- come out. I, I think I think Goldust got it worse than Sean. N- not not on oh, signs. Yeah. No, because no, he was well, never he well, was never that. Goldust played into it, right? So right. That, that would lessen. So the, they like, were that like, was, that was Goldust's angle sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but people yeah. were like, "Yo, that's his thing. Like, he's supposed to be." Well, you had Bret Hart doing promos alluding to uh, Shawn Michaels' sexuality in the oh, mid nineties, yeah. and then that's it was not going to go. And well. then it was HBK equals, and then yeah, another. Yeah. Yeah. And HBK, it was, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other, that's the other thing. Tina's pulling out a good point. I mean, it's, back it's not then, offensive. It's just, it's just also so. back then they didn't have stockholders to, to, uh, mm-hmm. well, that was his big to. thing. And, and yeah. if you ever watch Vince's interviews, what the hell is that guy's name from TSN? He interviewed him twice. They're so good. Is that one where he walked off of, or, or I'm thinking the HBO one? Probably. No, that's the HBO one. Yeah. That's when it, that was with, uh, was that Costas? Bob Costas. He yeah. got pissed off at him mm-hmm. about. Because I think they went after the XFL too at that time too, mm-hmm. and he's like, mm-hmm. "Oh, son of a bitch," you know, and all that. <laughs> uh, Alex Carr is uh, out there in Cali he's saying, uh, "Tangled, Tangled," starring Man- Mandy Rose. <laughs> Only Throwing if you back. have Otis as Flynn Rider. Ooh, I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I I screwed up, and this is why I I uh, I needed time because I was going to do the Lion King. Yeah. And I thought it'd be really cool if, like, it was Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas as, like, because Bo Leave was, like, Mufasa, and Bray would have been, like, Scar. But I was like, well, who the hell would Simba be? And that's why. Because at first I was like. Uh, Daniel Bryan. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean. Because I well because well, I screwed up at first because I was thinking that Simba mm-hmm. and Scar were brothers and I was gonna be like well IRS is gonna play <laughs> but it wasn't and that's why I was like no I need more time I'm an idiot everything that light touches owes you taxes <laughs> <laughs> everybody has a price <laughs> everything the light touches is our kingdom what about that shadowy place over there that's velocity we do not talk about <laughs> velocity. That's great. Oh, oh uh, Tina said in the chat room, Montez Ford is Frozone. From Incredibles, yeah. Yeah, actually, you know what? Oh, God, we could cast a whole Incredibles lineup. Simba yep. would be Ramblin' Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. God. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Simba is <laughs> Ramblin' Rabbit. I, yeah, well, you know, it's kind of the yeah. child character i don't know but hey bo dallas bo dallas you ever see bo dallas speaking of the marine like bo dallas and the marine was actually pretty good really yeah he was like a free he was like the number one bad guy yeah in that one and played it up really good I, that's the thing that what's like, he doing now uh b team are they still a thing they're still b team they got beat up a couple weeks ago by somebody mm-hmm. uh yeah. they were also at um halloween panic will they ever <laughs> do it yeah. No, I think they them. missed it. No, I, I, I at least not there. You know, those are guys. I mean, I feel like those are guys that you know. We we talk about AEW, like guys that like can leave and bet on themselves. Like I think they do okay if they did that. Uh, I, mean, I think one of I think one of them would. You think one of them would? You think a boat? Yeah. No. You think an axle? Cur- yes. I think Curtis Axel too, for because sure. he could literally just do his dad's gimmick. Mm-hmm. He should be Mr. Girthficked. Oh, but he's nerfed. You know. Jeez. 
Uh, let's see, John. Oh, I still... wouldn't. I wouldn't cast John Cena as Gaston. Tina. I would not. So... I think if anyone's Gaston, it's Randy Orton. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, why is he always red? Who? Randy Orton. Red. He's red all the time. That tan action. Yeah, it's or... so bad. Yeah, yeah. It, his he, bro, he just looks terrible. Tan. Yeah. Well, it, it's because he's a snake, so he slithers around backstage. That's you know, what it is. Lot, he gets a lot of rug burn. Yeah, he he takes that literally. <laughs> all right, guys. I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about because I think we're all kind of Ricochet by... is the Rocketeer. Ricochet Boom. is the Rocketeer. Damn it! I need to watch Rocketeer again. So That's can we? Uh, can we? Oh, I got one. one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Got one. A goofy movie. Yes, my favorite movie. But the only character I give a shit about is the singer at the end. Power, Power line. Line. Okay. Okay. Velveteen Dream. Yes. Yeah. I don't care about the rest there of the movie. There was a moment where I'm in Cleveland and, for a premiere, and Celeste Taylor and R.C. Dupree are both wearing that singer's shirt from the oh. goofy movie. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, hold on. Going off, your, going off your Velveteen is Power Line, Max, Goofy, and PJ is the new day oh yeah it's which okay day. so which one's the dipshit goofy like <laughs> who's that one biggie okay no yeah. no biggie is yeah. pj biggie is pj woods is max and kofi is um Pauly shore <laughs> A little no i think of... xavier has to be Pauly shore right no he's... xavier's gotta be the lead yeah yeah Xavier's gotta be the lead yeah he's the he's the nerdiest one a leaning tower of chicks. Uh, that was a good movie, man. I watched it like. Well, it also times. matches their height. I also tried to make Campbell's soup out of a fucking cigarette thing. I tried to <laughs> heat up work. when I was a kid. My I remember sitting there in my in my dad's truck, and my dad just looked over and was like, like "Off of a lighter? Yeah, yeah. You know, he's a lighter." The and he put the soup because he's like trying to like save bonding time with him. He's like, oh, soup. And I remember <laughs> I did it and it was the complete different experience than like the dad trying to bond. I tried to do it and my dad just looked over and was like, the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and like, I was going to make some hot dad soup. And I was like, this was it. This was in a movie. He goes, well, you're not watching it again. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my favorite part in that movie is uh, when they go to Lester's Possum Park. Oh yeah, and Jesse then the James. guys the guys like, "Who's your favorite possum?" He's like, "Don't touch me." So he <laughs> hugs him, he slaps him upside the face, like, "Beat it, doofus." I had a crush mm-hmm. on that uh, the chick that Max liked. Uh, I think we all did with the little, oh, yeah, we all the little did. freckle Roxanne? she had. Yeah, Roxanne, yeah. and that's a hot yeah. ass nineties mm-hmm. name too, yeah. Roxanne. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. You, you don't man. have to turn on the red light. <laughs> she was like, she was like, that would be Eva Marie, is who Roxanne would be. Oh uh, no, 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 no. No? You to, no, you have to give her someone with, with chops. Yeah. Who would it be? Oh man, that's tough. Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. No, nah, because Alexa's a bitch. You, has she, to be was a so, brunette. she was super friendly. Has to be a brunette too, I think. Hmm. Casey Catanzaro. Wow. No, I see that. I actually I'm, see that. I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking of brunettes. There mm-hmm. are not many. <laughs> uh, hair up, square up. What's her name? Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah By the way, if if we did Mandy Rose as Rapunzel entangled, Sonia Deville would be Mother Gothel. Absolutely. Yes. And it comes around. <laughs> right I think there. I'm gonna watch Tangled tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am crippled by choices. Is the problem? Sorry. Sorry. Newsies. I'm watching Newsies. Sorry, did you watch there. Frozen yet? No, I, I think I'll probably don't, uh, don't do that. Sorg. Wait, don't no, do that. Sorg, Everybody watch, said do it. Sorg, watch Frozen and picture it as Charlotte and Becky. All right, one, I want to watch which something. which Disney character could cut the best WWE promo. Ooh, <laughs> that's the real big question. Yes. Uh, the genie, that's the no, real no, no, big no, no, question. No, 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 no. I got the answer for you. It's the genie from Aladdin. Yeah. Mm. I don't know about that. that. Mm. A little too. He's a little too much. A little too much. I think he's a little too much. You okay. know who cut a good promo? Lumiere. 
Ooh. The candlestick from Beast, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a solid choice. Okay, yeah. all right, that's a solid choice. I think the be- most badass tag team would be Timon and Pumba, Puma, or whatever their names are. Okay. They would be really fun yeah. talking shit. You know, like the Steiner brothers. They'd be like, you mean this guy right here? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know why you have that. How do you just have that in arm's reach? I'm on my bed, dude. Who would it, more importantly, why is that on your fucking bed? I'm a penguin too, because I'm a, I'm a man child. So. <laughs> That's why. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you, you, you didn't see him with the Ghostbusters toys last week. No, no, no. no. no he had his Ethan a stash. To to be yeah, to yeah. be fair, to be fair, I used to have the plush Abu Aladdin doll. And I would take it to school with me until like second grade. I had the dinosaur from Land Before Time and took it everywhere. Yeah, we're fucking uh, losers. Bigfoot. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> like it is. It's, it's a Tuesday night and we're doing a wrestling podcast. Let's be it's honest. Fun. <laughs> I'm still trying to think who I, who, if I had to pick one Disney character or cut a WWE promo, who I would pick. That's a really hard question. Because mm-hmm. yeah. uh, I'm trying to think of like, Oh, a, a Disney princess that could really like just cut a badass like Becky Lynch style promo. Oh, I uh, would I would take uh, Maleficent, whatever. What Maleficent? is it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, What's the girl from Brave. She oh, Merida. Promo. Yeah, she I actually haven't seen Brave, so that's it's a good. I movie. did. It's a good. One. That, that may be on me that I haven't seen. Fuck it, I'm gonna say Aladdin. Aladdin is like the perfect WWE baby face because he's kind of a dick, but you know he's got a good heart. And he'll never get over? Uh, yeah, he'll never get over. Goofy would be Sid Justice. Just he'd break his ankle just coming just up the shit up. Dude, the funniest... We're live, pal. He has done so, <laughs> so many stupid things, but my favorite is when he destroys the barbershop with a steel chair. Did you ever see that? <laughs> he gets pissed off at the barbershop. This is and, on the movie or? No, this is Psycho Sid. Oh, I thought I was still talking about Goofy. No, <laughs> and he takes a steel chair and hits the uh, the 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 window or no, the, the mirror. And he hits a <laughs> he hits a can of <laughs> of what's it called? Of uh, Barber Cream. Barber Cream. Barber right? Cream. And it just blows up in his fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's just he's such an idiot man like oh i just realized something hercules and phil are Heyman and lesnar <laughs> are you talking about the um the animated yeah are you are you talking phil, about the, uh, phil the half the half bowl yeah or, yeah that dude yeah that's definitely yeah. Heyman. yeah Jeez. bless my soul brock was on a roll <laughs> Okay. Hey, Sorg. Um, AEW had pay per view this week. Yes, they did. Um, uh, it was good. it was so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, let me tell you the thing that they did. Fuck, fuck. Oh, I loved it. Well, I know. I, know. I haven't been able to watch. It. I haven't been able to watch it either. Like time and and I feel I'm not paying fifty dollars. Yeah, that's my for. that's my thing. Like, I'll find is that it. how much it was? I think it was like yeah. fifty bucks, yeah. forty or fifty bucks. I'm good. It, it's some. It, Sometimes you just gotta find a way to watch it for free. Sorry, oh, hey, hey, well, we don't, don't, no, we don't, we don't condone that here on this that. show. We don't condone that. Support your wrestling. Yes. That's right. Support, support, support your sorry. wrestling. Support, your, support wrestling. your wrestling by not watching it illegally. I, well, I mean, we wait. <laughs> sorry, you know, guys. Do, it, do it the right way, man. Uh, like, well, I mean, I'll find out what happens. I agree one hundred percent on that. Though. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. as as, as uh, let's see, everybody here in some way has been involved in a wrestling product. <laughs> hey, I'm not. No, I'm not. I would totally do it, but like I said, the last time I tried that, my dad had a cheater box in it. Didn't fucking work. <laughs> there <laughs> that you go. Like, oh, That's your cautionary tale. Yes. It's hell in the cell, <laughs> yes, right? Yes. <laughs> I love those cheater boxes. Oh, they were so cool. And then when they would expire, it would just be on the Weather Channel. Did that ever happened to you? <laughs> No, I always one o'clock. I had Spice. Remember Spice Channel? Oh yeah, yeah I do. That's I what I had. Sure. That was pretty cool. Uh, I had an uncle that had the big dish, and they always had the pay per views. But I never got to. I was never invited over to watch. 
That was weird. Yeah. And I was like, what's up with that? that was rude. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> but uh, I think we watched, like, I watched, like, the Mike Tyson comeback. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. June 28th, once again, uh, Mike Tyson <laughs> bit Evander Holyfield's ear. No, not that one. The one where he beat up the white guy. Hey, now. No. Fran- Fran- they made a movie about it. Francois Botha? I, I don't know. I No. Oh, this is a real fight? Yeah, Boxing no, that, match? Was, that was, he came that back. That was him. That was his return. Was or Kevin him? something. Kev, I thought it was like Kevin something, yeah. yeah Kevin Sullivan? Like, yeah, it, no. Kevin yes, Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan. Jeez. Uh, I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, I, I, say anybody else, every time, um, um, what's his face, Perfect 10 comes out and uh, Blanchard comes out, I keep thinking that's Kevin Sullivan. I told uh, you I say who, something. Who, Tessa? No, no, no. Uh, his da- Her dad. Oh, comes out with yeah. Um, I forget his name now. Uh, Sean. Sean Spears. Sean Spears. Thank you. And cool. I, and it's like, why is Kevin Sullivan here? And they're like, oh, it's Tully Blanchard. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's me. But anyways, hey guys, uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> what did you learn from Disney Plus? I, I think we learned a lot from Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, learned that I'll have no free time now that I have Disney Plus. I, I learned that I will never be bored. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, right. like legitimately, if I if if I ever tweet that I don't have anything to watch, mm-hmm. someone You're lying to here, yourself. Someone come here, slap me in the fucking face. Yeah, it, 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 I'm just crippled by decisions. Like that's 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 yeah. really. I learned that Rusev. No, no, no. Sorry, I just think is, I just think everything with him right now is put in the worst position possible. Sure. And he I is, think that's and he ah. and he is making the best out of it mm-hmm. that he could possibly do. Like this oh, yeah. it is such a death sentence idea and he's I think he's fucking crushing it for oh. as shitty as it is, for as as much as everyone on the internet is like it's stupid because it is it's terrible. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. horrible. But uh, he's Corey, just... Corey Graves is running it down on the official WWE podcast. Is he? <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's like, what the hell are we thinking? He, like, he's saying the thing that we're all saying of. of, of well, he's saying this... some of the things that we're all thinking. Yeah, he's, say, he's saying. He's saying like saying the, some of them. The, he's not saying all. It's a relationship written by somebody who's never been in a relationship before. And I also think I, here's another thing that I've learned is that I think that Seth Rollins is our modern day Bret Hart. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe, which explains why I don't like him very much. I I <laughs> I'm a I'm a huge Seth Rollins fan. Mm-hmm. Um, he has I think the same mindset that Brett does with the business, mm-hmm. and like he says, you know, it sucks after Hell in a Cell that you know we worked our ass off, and and I get that you know I'm not going to be the first babyface boot or the mm-hmm. last, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but it's like, dude, shut the fuck up, like. You beat Brock Lesnar. Yeah. This whole year was about you. Yeah. The year prior was about you. Yeah. Fuck off. If you, Bret Hart had Twitter in 1995, he'd be saying the same exact thing. Exa- yeah. They're oh, the yeah, exact. Yeah. It's the exact same. And it's really making me dislike but, but see, everything thing, about him. And I hate and I hate the, the power couple bullshit, too. Mm-hmm. But I the just, problem is we need a Shawn Michaels. He's such a good That's chicken shit want, heel. That's why Shawn it's Michaels. bothering me. Seth Rollins is such a good chicken shit heel. Yeah. When he had the security with him, he mm-hmm. was awesome with the mm-hmm. gloves, with the mm-hmm. with the with the gold pant. Like he was awesome. And this mm-hmm. this burn it down. Fuck fuck off. Like I just I can't get behind it. I get he's the best wrestler. And you know, a baby face gets to do more moves off the top ropes. Fantastic. He wants to be but, he wants to be the the light flippy wrestler. Yeah. But but who like there's no like he, like you just said, there's no Shawn Michaels. Mm-hmm. There's, there's no there's, one for him to bounce off of. There's no 1997 Shawn Michaels, mm-hmm. and and it's so needed right now. Mm-hmm. There's not even like they even tried to do the thing with the Fiend to be his Undertaker, but because the Fiend is so new, the Fiend can't sell anything. Mm-hmm. Well, like you know, we're we're still establishing them. Like like the Fiend. The Fiend should be like taking out nobodies on on superstars as an equivalent, you know, for for the next three months. See, I don't understand. And that's what I'm saying. I don't understand that. Like, I just. What is his identity in the ring? Mm-hmm. He can take punishment and he laughs at it. 
give me your best shot. It's not enough. Like yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand. Is he playing mind like, games? I don't understand it. I don't the, even the, know the, how we realistically have someone beat the fiend. The the in well at that point like at this at the in well we'll find a way because Braun Strowman had a had was able to flip fucking ambulances and and you know come back from the dead and now Braun Strowman got knocked out by one punch from Tyson Fury. That's what I'm saying. And from now a, from a heavyweight boxer at least. Yeah, so, I, I mean, get that, it. That yeah, I get yeah, it. Uh, yeah, Big Show got up from a punch from. Floyd Mayweather, all right, who was a welterweight boxer. Yeah, but he had he had a he had brass knuckles on. Yeah, like that's what it, I hate when they bring in so called legitimate athletes mm-hmm. because it completely discredits the person they're in the ring with. Yep, unless the only time that it didn't it wasn't that case was with Becky Lynch. That was it when they were like, yep. oh, Ronda wants out. Okay, well, fuck you. Mm-hmm. It's really up to, it seems like it's up to that performer's decisions. Like Brock, he's like, yeah, sure, I'll stick around. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, every six weeks, what do you need? Okay, cool. Yep. I mean, he, he has like, he has the dream job. Brock Lesnar, mm-hmm. like, hey, you're going to, you're going to just fucking piss everyone off. Beat somebody's ass. You don't have to say a word. There's no meet and greets. Mm-hmm. There's nobody likes you. Nobody wants to talk to you. <laughs> you're not. You're, you're not good. hanging with sick kids. Yeah. Like, oh, he would. Well, if he, I, I think if he I F5'd think the kid, I would buy his shirt in a heartbeat. <laughs> hey, they're, they're letting kids pin the, the owner of the company in AEW. They might as well have five kids uh, left around yeah. at, at WWE, right? I, I just, you know, I'm just waiting for Brock Lesnar to fight Nicholas at WrestleMania <laughs> next year. We're like, hey, you're a champion. That made me so mad. Do you know why that made me mad? Because still somehow my failing 30-year-old fat body gets mad that that kid got a chance and I didn't. Like, I wasn't well, mad because, like, there was a kid with him. But I was I, like, why didn't he fucking pick me from the audience? I, I was there. I could have done it. <laughs> I could have done it. You feel, if it makes you feel better, that was a referee's son. No, that makes it me feel worse because he's entitled and he's privileged. <laughs> he wasn't just a random kid. He wasn't a random kid. He wasn't a make a wish kid. He didn't I, earn this. I thought it was like when, was it uh, Little Nature's kid? When Matt Carlin's and I were when Matt Jen and I were there for for that event live, we legitimately thought that was a make a wish kid and thought that was his wish. And I'm like, oh, that is fucking cool. So I, they're doing that. That's amazing. Can I but tell? Then, then I found out it was uh, fucking John Cone's kid. And I'm like, well, that's just fucking stupid now. Do you guys want to hear my closing joke that I'm going to tell McFoley? Okay. Sure. All right. Exclusive. Have- yeah, I don't care. Whatever. Fuck it. So <laughs> it's a true story. I had, I had cancer uh, a few years ago. And when I got diagnosed with cancer, uh, my doctor told me, you know, you have to call somebody and like you call your family or whatever, whoever you need to call, let them know what's going on. And the first person I decided to call was make a wish. <laughs> this is a true story. I was like, I'm called make a wish. I earned it. I'm cashing in my money in the bank. This is my time. <laughs> so I call make a wish and they're like, hi, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Hey, I'm qualified for your program. Mm-hmm. And like, what do you mean? I'm like your rewards program. I want it. And they're like, Oh, you have cancer. And I was like, yeah. And like, all right, well, what do you want? And I was like, true story. I said, I, uh, I know that the Royal rumble was coming to Pittsburgh and they were like, don't say another word. We'll get you tickets. And you might meet John Cena. And then I said, first of all, I already have tickets. Second of all, fuck John Cena. And she's like, I'm sorry. What? Well, what would you like without a beat? I said, I want the undertaker to choke slam me through the Spanish announcing table. She goes, can you please hold? And I'm like, yeah, probably not for long. <laughs> so, so listen, now I'm on hold. Three minutes ago, I was told I have cancer. I'm about to die. And I just powerballed this into being the best thing that could have ever. I was so happy I had cancer because I was like, I'm on hold for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like they're going to, it's going to happen. Right. She comes back and goes, Hey, I forgot to ask you something. How old are you? 
And I pushed mute. I was like, fuck. Come back. I'm like, I'm 23, 24, whatever I was. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Then we can't do that for you. And I said, well, why not? She goes, because Make-A-Wish Cutoff is at 18 years old. And uh, being a comedian, I had a quick response back. And I was like, so wait a minute. That's the only reason why? (laughs) You're telling me that if I was a five-year-old with leukemia, you were going to (laughs) let the Undertaker, the, the undead guy, throw my brittle bones through a fucking table while Kane lit my ass on fire. <laughs> that was going to happen if I was six. She goes, I don't know what to fucking tell you. We'll send you a Getco gift card and hung up with hung up on me. I got $150 in Getco gift cards. Shit. I mean, okay. Wait, in, in what gift cards? Getco, a it, gas station. It's, it's our oh, local oh, like grocery yeah. store gas God, station yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Really? Not even they couldn't even give you Amazon. It's like Nothing. a it's like a poor man sheets. Yeah. They could have at least given you sheets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the real that's a real burn there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they're like, like, they're like, like, we know you like sheets, but here's Gitgo, because yeah, you know, you're good shit. Wawa. Shitty, right? okay, yeah, Wawa. You know, if they would have given me Wawa, I just would have told my doctor to pull the fucking plug. I'm like, Wawa a- is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Wawa is so bad. Dude, people swear by Wawa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, people from Philadelphia who don't. Know we anybody. went there. My my there. girlfriend and I went to Wawa after vacation uh, to Ocean City, New Jersey, because we're super white trash. We went to <laughs> Wawa on the way home, and I was like, "Well, I always see these signs at Flyers games. Wawa is better than Sheets. I'm like, we got to try it. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking lie, dude. <laughs> it's not great. It <laughs> is." Terrible. I mean, like you, it is so fuck. I like it is so bad. It's fine. Would you it say is, it's, it is it's not as drunk, bad as dude. The Simpsons, but it is really <laughs> oh, no. bad. Oh, no. <laughs> you say, yeah, fucking no. <laughs> I thought we had a clean out. No, nope. <laughs> it's about to get worse. I right? would rather eat <laughs> Wawa than eat at Quickie Mart. Is all I'm saying. Oh, no. no. Wow. Would you say? No, I agree that, with uh, you on that because oh, Apu does not keep those hot dogs no no dogs. although the quickie- isn't he kicked off the only Did thing they I, him off? I think they had Mart is an all ridiculous for squishy that's the only thing i want no Wrong. matt i gotta ask you a serious question yes would you say wawa almost gave you cancer again <laughs> no because there were no benefits out of it <laughs> there were no perks of it wow. i didn't get to meet anybody i didn't get oh new mer- material <laughs> It was bad. Oh, boy. Cancer, Man. I lost 50 pounds. Wawa, I almost lost my left foot to diabetes from this shit. It was disgusting. I'm just glad that Wawa will never sponsor this show. <laughs> well, the, we're getting a phone call to from Wawa. Hey, I uh, heard you guys were talking about us yesterday. I don't know. Sheets may, may send us some boom boom sauce. Hey, I'm all about Sheets, man. <laughs> By the way, Sheets, bring back your deep fried pickles, assholes. <laughs> they were amazing. I got their okay. sheets of pizza that no one likes, but they won't bring those back. Make sure, yeah. make sure I clip all this in tag sheets, and we'll see what happens. We uh, I'll blow their shit up. Sorg, I, I learned one more thing from wrestling. Are we still doing that segment? <laughs> sure. Uh, Rusev wanted to bang in the tank. I caught that too. That was the only redeeming part of that promo. Mm-hmm. That was the only redeeming part. And and then Rusev's like, of course I wanted to have sex in the tank. It's a tank. From the chat room, they learned some things too. Uh, let's see. Dave learned that Charlotte is just the like big show flipping between heel and face. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Tina learned that damn Ray Rusev looks good in a suit. Also, she called out that was Mike Tyson and Peter McNeely in his comeback fight in '95 as the only one that I'd ever seen live for some reason. I don't know why that's the one. Oh, I thought you meant after getting beat up. After no, no, it was it was it was coming back from prison. Oh, that thing. <laughs> Um, oh, that was a work. Also, a rollback. Uh, Rob Brown, cameraman Rob, wants a blank check with IRS. Mm-hmm. I'll make one for that you. Sense. Yeah, that'd be good. That makes about, sense. Who, who would IRS be in that scenario? Because that movie is about a child. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember enough of that. Yeah, the, bl- the blank check came when some mobster asshole hit a kid on a bicycle to replace the bike, right? And then he ended up buying this house with a slide in it. 
Uh, the kid would have to be the on a maze. bicycle. Yeah, he g- he gave the kid a blank check to um, and he was like, "Tell your parents what to do with this," and he like fed it into a printer that was somehow able to print out like. Oh yeah, the technology they dollars. had. Yeah, he was able to print out like a million dollars. <laughs> that nineteen ninety two technology. And then and then the kid started hitting on the bank employee who was like a 24 year old woman and she was all about it too she's like she she was a little bit about it and it got very awkward even as a child i'm like it was something is not right here it was different time which it also wasn't right in that's it i'm watching blank check when we get off here (laughs) pov ronnie yeah pov matt light did you watch rookie of the year yet no best best movie (sighs) ever okay no, I really love that movie. I love the fact that Barry Bonds and Bobby Bonilla both strike uh, the fuck out. We had the rookie of the year here on the couch. Henry Roundgartner. Yeah. Ian <laughs> Thomas oh, Nichols. Like the actual guy? Yeah, yeah. He was here uh, when Wizard Promoting his band? That uh, No, he was promoting his appearance at WizardCon on Pittsburgh Current. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so that's what I started forgot what this. The world was a thing. What, Thomas Ian Nicholas? Is that it? Yes. yes. That's it, yep. yeah. He got both names right. Yeah. Big mm-hmm. fan of his. Big fan of his. More than the American Pie, though. That was a good. Yeah, you know, that, that was a fun thing because I brought it up on the show. I'm like, oh, hey, we're going to have the guy from American Pie. I said his name didn't get to American Pie. And he said, he said, Henry Bone Gardner. And Mad Mike like, recited the like most of the movie. Rosenbacher. Yeah, yes, it's yes. a great movie. <laughs> Run a mucker. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Matt there Light. There's a lot of different names he has. He's, he's Th- trying to kick me off, guys. Thank you so Martyr. much. <laughs> I want to make sure you get to plug in before I forget. Yes. Where can people see you online and I just in person? I just got uh at Matt Light finally on Twitter. I saw that. I thought I was tagging the wrong one. Yeah, it was a big battle. Wow. There was a Matt, yeah, Matt Crawford uh is a master gardener from Connie Out, Ohio. Used his account for one tweet back in 2009. I've been contacting this dickhead for 10 straight years. Finally, I looked him up on Facebook and told him I'd send him fifty dollars if he would just delete his account. Wow! And I and I just he gave me his password and I changed his account name to Matt Light one 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 something like that. And I never sent him fifty dollars. <laughs> so thank That's you, Matt, Matt Crawford. Uh, on Instagram, I am Matt Light Comedy. Uh, Matt X light on you just search Matt light anywhere. Yeah. Uh, if it's not the new England Patriots, former left tackle, it's probably me. <laughs> Look very different. Look very different. Yeah. Yeah. I'm apparently already following you on Twitter. Oh, sweet dude. I'll follow you back, bro. Oh, thanks man. What's yours? Uh, at Starks wrestling. Is that where there's, is there an X at the end of that? Uh, it's an S, S. Starks. Yeah. Starks. Wrestling. Like this is an inventive way for Ronnie Ryan to get his... Starks. Oh, I am following you back. Yeah, you'll, boy. You'll see a lot of toys and safety images. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that good? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, good. Crazy. it's good. It's good. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, so we got Ronnie's plugs in the out of the way now. Uh, oh, yeah. We're good. Ronnie, where are you cut popping up? Are you going to be at the next Rise show? I didn't know if you're in on that one. Uh, are you the benefit show? or? Uh... Uh, I don't know. I'll be at... Uh... Well, I don't know if they announced it yet, but Uprise is going to be on, I think, December 8th. <laughs> My bad. Fuck. Sorry. I, I don't uh, think it's out yet. Oh, uh, well, surprise, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, same, Ronnie. I saw, I saw, I'm fired, man. Uh, no, this Saturday, I'm going to be at uh, Real Action Pro Wrestling in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, and then I think that's it for the month, actually. I don't think I have anything going on. That's Amazing. It. Come see Mick Foley. I will come to your show. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, um, if you really want to see a really great show, you should skip Mick Foley's show <laughs> and see me headline the Pittsburgh Improv on New Year's Eve. It's even better. Do both. Just do both. No. Pe- people are broke that time yeah. of the year. Mick, it's one or the other, bro. Mick, I can't do both. Fuck Mick. He's got enough money. Come see me. <laughs> you know. And uh, and then I will buy that Shawn Michaels stand-in from you <laughs> if I make enough money. Because every time I walk in here, I'm like, I wonder if he'll notice. Just put it on your shoulder and walk out the door. And I'll be I should. Fine. Oh, I want that so bad. They had one at this place called Party Paper City 
on McKnight Road mm-hmm. years ago, like mm-hmm. like 20 years ago. It was in the stand-in. I was about to buy it. My mom was going to take me. We walked in, and it was gone. We've. Well, I looked at this for like months and months and months. I'm like, I want it. I want it. My dad's like, why the fuck do you want that? What are you just going to look at it? I was like, I'm going to wrestle it. My dad's like, yeah, you're not getting it. And finally, when I went to see how much of a disappointment my dad is, <laughs> I finally go to get this thing, and it's not there. I just want it. God, man. Okay. I'm sorry. Mad Mike 48.3 on the tweets. Uh, Disneyplus.com slash poppy. <laughs> Is it on there? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but, <laughs> but, all right. Disneyplus.com. Just search for 90s Spider-Man. There you go. Wow. There yeah. you go. Oh, and by the way, I, so I, was, I was listening to 90s Spider-Man while I was at work. Mark Hamill is the voice of the fucking Hobgoblin. Goddamn radius. Wow. Did not know that. And it's basically his Joker voice. Who, who is it? Mark Hamill. Yeah, that's why in that's that's why in Jay and Silent Bob, his character is is a what is it? Cockknocker. Cock yeah, because yeah. it's a mockery of that dude. Hmm. His cock yeah. his cockknocker for that reason. Guys, thank you so much for being with us in this <laughs> kind of different mayhem show. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back with the Disney Mayhem Show next week. Mayhem out. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.